Hello, it's Angela. I've got a few ties to show you, actually, to complement the blog post on making a tie. This is the one that was featured in the blog. It's made from a Liberty Cotton Lawn, which is beautiful, as you can see, and I've just lined it in some plain green. It's important when you're making a tie to, first of all, make sure your points are neat at both ends, if you please that they're lined nicely, that the insides are neat, you'll need something at the back to push the back of the tie through. I always use my, my hand label, if you can see that, so angelic threads. It's important to choose a fabric that will drape well too, because it's, and it needs to be cut on the bias, so you need a little bit more than perhaps you think. That's a lovely tie, isn't it? I like that very much. Another plain tie is one that I made some time ago out of a silk which is a really lovely colour, don't you think? It's a lovely dual colour. Um, again, it's got a loop on the back to thread the back of the tie through. It's nicely lined in another silk, this time in an emerald green, fronts and backs. That's just another plain tie. Once you've started making plain ties and you've got the hang of it and you don't mind sitting watching TV for an hour, who doesn't, doing a bit of hand sewing, then you can progress on to embellished ties. This is a lovely tie. It was actually made by me to remember my mother-in-law who died exactly a year ago. It's got a star on because in our eyes she was a total star and it was worn in a performance on the, the day that she actually died. Um, we went ahead with the performance in memory of Margaret and this is the tie that I made. It's plain black, a plain black satin, and I've lined it in some green satin that was left over from actually one of my favourite dresses. This fabric is printed with dragons and it's from Minerva. That's a lovely tie. If you have somebody that you want to remember every time you wear it, then think of a suitable emblem, maybe. Um, they had a hobby of books, golf, anything, and think of a way of incorporating it into a plain tie. It doesn't have to be black. The thing is that whatever you choose to put on it will be your aid memoir every time you put it on. So that is worn a lot in memory of Margaret. When it comes to Christmas ties, I just want to get away from the normal Father Christmases, so I came up with penguins. This is a lovely tie. It's all got applique penguins on it dead easy to do you can get templates off the internet or you can buy them if you want and stitch them on and i've also further embellished it with some shirosky hearts this is again worn quite a lot it's got the same backing on as one of my other ties you only need small scraps for the back so just use whatever you can find but it is important that the main tie is is cut on the bias so you do need a little bit more so i think that's a nice alternative to your normal father christmases another christmas tie I made and don't forget my other half is an entertainer so he needs to be a bit more flamboyant and he needs garments on stage that are going to be seen right at the back of the room this is a, another christmas tie it's uh i actually bought these motifs it's on um a peach colored satin with a lavender colored satin at the back made in exactly the same way actually when you come to stitch your your appliques on you do it before you do all the the folding and the stitching at the back so that it's flat you find it impossible to stitch them on once the tie is made and you'll just end up with a messy back if you don't want to use these sort of motifs think how fantastic this would be for a wedding if you could pick out um with flowers or leaves the bridesmaids colors or the bride's bouquet or the theme of the wedding that would be so lovely if all the groomsmen were wearing a tie that you'd made yourself and that matched the wedding you'll make them for next to nothing as well a very special tie that i made well two actually one is this one this is much much admired i've actually made two of these one in this colorway and one in different these again are for stage wear there are two shirts that match these one in this fabric and one in a slightly different one can you see if i look, hold it up closely that each little piece each leaf each flower each hand everything is cut out individually backed with iron on interfacing and appliqued on 
to a piece of fabric and then the tie was cut out after. I further embellished it with sequins and a little bit of beading, if you can see that. As I said, there are two of these, one in this colourway and one in a red colourway with red sequins and red beads and so on. These are so much admired um, when Michael's on stage. They're so different. So, you know, again, that's you might not want to tackle something. It did take an awful long time, but you know, hey, why not? Why not be a bit more flamboyant? The last tie I want to show you is, is definitely for stage wear. I love this one to bits. It's um, a black matte fabric because I didn't want anything to shine to detract from all the applique on. I stitched on some embellishments. These are all cut from lace. Um, the edges have been neatened and they've all been stitched on individually, some by machine, some by hand. It did take a long time to do. Once I'd stitched all these on in the shape that I liked, I followed the lines through with some Shirovsky crystals, top and bottom. I think you'll agree that that is so different and so amazing. It looks fabulous with um, a black shirt, actually, and an evening dress jacket. It's not for the faint-hearted. Um, it, it does actually glitter in the lights. It, it's a fabulous tie. I wish you could see it on here. If you have enough for making ties, something dead, dead simple. And I've only got a couple here to show you, but I have made loads. Bow ties, Christmas, dead easy. A plain one in dark green. All you need to buy are the fastenings, which I promise you are easy to fit. Um, it's a static bow tie, Michael can't tie bow tie for toffee, so I just make him these. So happy tie making, great for Father's Day. Um, make a plain one, make an embellished one, choose your father's favourite hobby, a golf stick, books, reading, computers, and find an embellishment or embroider a bit yourself. But make your dad a tie for Father's Day. It's so easy, he'll be so grateful. So I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.